Hello guys, my name is Paul Kroon and I'm gonna be your host today in this video on combo boxes. And this video is part of a community blog I make for the forum. And what my goal is, is to uh, make a formula which I can use always in my combo boxes and makes the combo box easier to set up. Also, I find that sometimes the display field of my combo box changes when I make changes to my app. And then my customer calls me and said, Paul, I can't see the name anymore. I see the gear, or for example. So I tried to fix that and I came up with a, like a wrapper formula to do so. So let's go to power apps and take you through this um, uh, technique which I'm making. And uh, you can see yourself if you like it. So normally when we uh, put up a uh, combo boxes, we would have something like this, like the sample, then the show columns and uh, get the fields in. And what I found is that sometimes this is changing. Not every time, but sometimes suddenly this was changing to another field. And then my customer said, okay, your app is breaking. It doesn't work anymore. So after three, four times, I thought I have to do something about that. And I made a fix and I'm going to show you here. Also, when I do a filter here, you see it's it's taking a lot of time. And when, when I want to uh, then uh, see if this filter is correct, then uh, I have to take it all out and do things about it. And I don't like it. So I made up a formula and let's build that formula. So first, uh, we are gonna work from inside out. Let's first say we have our sample simple database and let's see if there are records here okay there are records here and the first step that I do is to make a filter here and in this filter I use a trick I use a lot with my SQL development it's just one is one and one is one is always true so you when you say you can't put true here because then it's gonna say it this doesn't work but one is one is okay for power apps and it's just always true so we see all our records so that's the first step after that we can say the id is greater than two and it wor works and if we want to test it we can comma it out with no problem so this is a nice a way of setting a true to all the records and being able uh, to have to filter around our data source even without an actual condition we want to check. So basically we can copy this to another combo box and just change the uh, data source and it will work. So that's nice. Now after this, uh, let's look at the combo box because I then looked at the combo box and I went to fields edit and here I see the layout is a single or a double so two fields or a double person and it's two fields with a extra image so I thought let's make a formula which will work on all of those so and I use the add columns formula for that so add columns Let's try to put this in the right place. And here I do it in Power Apps and normally I would do this kind of things in uh, Notepad++ or another editor because there it's, it's easier. So now we have the Add Columns formula and here we want to make a new field and what the add columns formula does is that it makes a virtual table of your data source so the original data source is kept as as it is but this is a virtual table only for the combo box so that's why we can add fields and do things with it so let's say in the sample we have the full name and what we can do here is also is concatenate field. So uh, creates a full name from a first name, a middle name and a surname. 
and combine them together with a concatenate function or just the n uh, function so so we also have a display 2 and the display 2 let's say that it, this is okay we don't have something let's just put in the git it doesn't matter really uh, for the example and we could also add a image field and here we could say we want to have a image but let's just put it empty then we like to have an output and I just call it output here and the output is normally a ID so a zero or maybe the git uh, wherever you like to output from your field but nine of out of the 10 times it's going to be an ID field. So, and now we have uh, the sample fields and we have fields we want to uh, be able to put outside when we are ready with our combo box. And it's always called display one. It's always called display two. It's always called key it. So basically uh, we don't have to do anything about setting these fields anymore and you see it's going to take display one and why it's going to take display one because this is the first when we put the fields alphabetically so it's always going to work so basically this is a good thing so now we when we edit the columns we want to be able to sort by columns and I see a lot of people doing the distinct function and using this just the sort function but the sort by columns function is uh, really made for tables so you should pick this one instead of the sort function because it, it basically sorts only a list and we want to sort columns and the advantage about sort by columns is also that we can put in different fields. So if we want to sort on the display one and then the display second, because we have the city as the first and the name as the second, then we can do so. So here, nine out of 10 times, it's going to be the display one and it's going to be just ascending. Uh, and that's because when we have a lot of uh, values in there, we kind of, uh, uh, we're gonna enable the search function and we will be searching in all the um, values of our combo box so now we have sorted our combo box and if we check this okay yes it's really all the prime minister of the netherlands uh, or, or part of the prime manager of the letters from the future uh, from the history uh, are sorted alphabetically so this is nice but and now when we go here and we say uh, we have a combo box two dot selected dot and we want to say we have all the records of our uh, data source and now this is not very much but sometimes we have data sources with maybe 10 or 15 fields which we want to use somewhere else but we don't want to see when we pick something and we have to choose what the output is and also i see the id here and the output and it's it's uh what do i want to have and it's not uh, very um, descriptive for the user so we're gonna fix that in this formula and we're gonna do that with the show columns formula and what the show columns formula does is that it output only the columns which we set in this formula so if we say we only want to have the output here so let's do that or display two play two and we should surround it i think with commas then we will see when we go here it's display two because that's the only one we can pick here but of course that should be a little bit stupid I think so let's add a few others display one uh, we have maybe our image for the cases we have one and of course we have our 
output and also maybe some extra output like in this case i have the date of birth here or i can put in the date of birth and let's do that so output one and it's not there that's why it's yelling at me output one this was the id or let's put it the id and this is for example a uh, date 1999 .02 let's say the date of birth of this specific person if we would have that in our data source so when we go here now we can say okay here we want to have our output one and if we select root lubbers we have the uh, date of birth in the box here so and when we do edit to uh, this is kind of stick because uh, alphabetically they are just in place so they ain't gonna change when you do sometimes changes to your app so now let's uh, copy this part then i go to notepad just to give it a nicer look here and just one moment and we are almost almost done and now we have a nice formatted function so the function is filter then add columns to make a virtual table with the extra columns we want to add with the concatenation with the calculation if you want to then we kind of sort it by the columns we like to sort it with and it could be multiple uh, sortings and then we output only the columns we like to see in our combo box or in our output so i till so far this formula and i find myself that it's more reliant and it's easier to set up because when i want to uh, set it up to another data source and let's just say the combo combo box simple then i only have to change this to the value one for example is to the value two let's say this is value three and everything is done and here we see our items and our numbers nicely uh, separated again so with this we can have a template and we copy it go to this part say this is our sample or let's first say this is the um, combo pull we just gonna so we're gonna do this so now we have a template we can copy paste connect to our data source to the value one oh, we don't have a value one we have the full name here the full name here we put in the id we go back we say this is a single one and we have set up our combo box again the way we like it so till so far this video and as i said this was part of a community blog so you can read it back there also and i hope you like it and if you do so please uh, give kudos for it and i'll see you in the next video hopefully thanks for watching and see you later